Hello fellow dragons, I'm the ruler of the Dragon Kingdom, Dragon Snip, and I found these strange looking paints on Amazon. But you're probably looking at me, looking at this box, be like, Dragon, that's a box. Why do you say that paint? That's just a box. Well... I've been interested in these paints for a very long time, but not only are they paints, they're supposed to be glow-in-the-dark paints. But I'm going to be using these paints for like a painting for this video, so I'm going to take these and go head out to the art desk and use them on a painting. So let's go! Okay, speed run time. Boy Elizabeth is great by Blue. Editing style. My style is based on them. Was that fast enough? No? Well, never mind. We're moving on. So I brought out this already painted on canvas for the video. Since I've already started with this canvas, might as well finish it. What is this? A fix and finish episode? I need to do another one too. Okay, strangely, I decided to show my paint water cup to the camera here. Why do I need to show this empty water cup here? Never mind that. Time to grab out the container that has my paint in it and skip to the painting part. Let's face it, people really don't want to watch me mix paint together. Now time to cover all my bases. And this took many, many, so many layers of paint just to get a pretty good base on the surface. By the way, my voice sounds very odd. Uh, I, I have a cold, which is when you get that. The background of the painting is just a plain glowing background. I guess it fit with the theme I'm going with. Well, almost theme. Now it's time for the sketchy part of this video. <laughs> We're not just painting without adding in the sketchy part. Come on now, what do you think I am? Kylo Ren? <laughs> so I'm going ahead and sketching out the character that I want to paint on. And it's some sort of dragon-like cow creature. I don't know, I don't know why it looked like a cow, but cows are adorable, even the babies are freaking adorable, and it kinda looked like a cow, so we're sticking with a dragon cow, yeah, that's what it is, shut up about it, we're moving on. So the sketch is done, time to bring out the paints once again and paint on this freaking adorable cow dragon. A part of me wished I went with a cow color for this dragon, but I didn't see it as a cow at the time when I was painting, and I didn't think about it until much later, so... Yeah, it doesn't cross my mind at the time. I've already painted and glossed over this painting, so this argument is really pointless. Nobody's in here. <laughs> <laughs> Steph, what are you doing here? Just hanging around. So let's get down to business to defeat the copyright because I can't sing this song. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine and you're not really fine. So I'm just filling in the area with color of my choosing before moving on to the shading and stuff, which I did shading off camera because I forgot to turn the camera on. Don't look into that. It took a while to fill in this whole dragon cow because it's just a big boy or big girl or them. Anyways, once I finish filling in the ears of this dragon and wait, don't forget this tail of the dragon, because I almost did. Let's move on to the face of the dragon. No wait, I'm wrong. It's the stomach of the dragon. Now I'm quickly doing the face because there's not much for the face for me to do. And I use a different color for the horns. Now you may be asking me right now, where is the glow in the dark paint? You already did that. Here they are. I didn't forget about them. I already pulled them on. Let's move on. I'm using the glow in the dark paint for the eyes and the few areas on the dragon itself. I even started painting the horns on the dragon's tail, but instead, I went with the colors that I used for the horns on the top of the head. See? That was fast. Now I'm just adding the glow in the dark paint on some of the horns on the head, even the tail, I believe. Even adding paint to the ears where I totally didn't forget to paint in. Now I'm just adding the lion eye to the dragon. But wait, we're not done. We gotta see how well these paints work. How long is this going to take? Lights! Eh, they don't really glow that very well. You have to leave it on a UV light for a while and it still doesn't really glow. But, despite the glow of the dark paint, the painting is finally done.
final result. I love how the painting turned out. The glow in the dark paints are a little meh. They're not bad to say, but they're a little bit meh. But, um, that's all I have to say about the, the glow in the dark paint. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to get the paints. But overall, um, these are okay glow in the dark paint. They don't last forever in the dark, even if you let, like, um, put like the UV light on the um painting you're not gonna be able to see this the, the, the lights are on I'm not gonna go back out and shut all the lights off I already spend too much time on that if you want to check that artwork out I'll be posting it on my um social media on tumblr and instagrams link down in the description below and that will be it for me dragons and if you guys want to check out this video over here, go ahead and check it out. And don't forget to check out this video right over here. This is last week's video. And I'll see you dragons next time. Bye dragons! And I pray all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think any